Young man, why are you here? My name is Joseph K. I know who you are. You are a friend of Gregor's hamster. You know Gregor? Didn't he refer me to you? No. No, my uncle did. He's an old acquaintance of yours. Ah, yes, of course. So, is it about your trial? Yes, it is. You've come as a very inappropriate yeah. moment. Uh, I was told to come <coughs> now. I know, but you see, my desk is broken. Oh, what do you mean? Inside, I have all the cases. Without it, I can't work. Well, can the desk be repaired? <laughs> Probably. But for now, we must await. Mr. Hold, I would like to discuss my defense with you, but I don't even know the charges. <sighs> that is not important. What is important is to submit the first set of documents to the court. The first set? What are they? The defense doesn't have access to court records, especially not to the indictment. 
that means we generally don't know, or at least not precisely, what the first documents need to be about. Anyway, usually the first submitted documents are mislaid or lost, and even if they do keep them right to the end, rumor says they are hardly ever read. This is all very regressible but not entirely without its justifications. You should not forget, Mr. K, that there is no law that says the trial has to be public. You should not forget, Mr. K, that there is no law that says the trial has to be public. Is that even possible? What? To keep the trial secret from the accused. Oh, it's usually possible to a very large extent. This sounds completely absurd. So what exactly is your role? The most important thing is the lawyer's personal connections. That's where the real value of taking counsel lies. Contacts with higher officials. Or with high officials, but with lower grades. That is the only way to influence the progress of the trial. Hardly noticeable at first, it's true. But as it progresses, it becomes more and more visible. There are, of course, not many lawyers who can do this. So you have made a good choice by coming to me. Do you already have some paperwork? The law is tireless, and so are we, the defense. It should come to no surprise to you that we have an extensive network for relevant information. Your case is a very interesting one. Indeed, things like this don't come all of a sudden. They start developing a long time beforehand. There must have been warning signs of it. Could I see those documents? I'm afraid that is not possible at the moment. Not unless I know the date of the trial. It's in the ledger which is currently blocked in my desk. I must see them. What is the legal basis for this? I guess my desk broke due to the laws of physics. I don't mean your broken desk. I mean the ledger, the trial date, and you showing me the documents. I just didn't know when to search for them. Besides, something said in private cannot be used in public. Therefore, you seeing those documents will not help your case. I would say it might even hinder the proceedings. Mr. Holt, I insist. Your trial is still in its infancy. You would get the wrong impression after reading them. They are destined for me, not for you. Trials run their course all by themselves. All they really need is a nudge from time to time. After reading the papers, you could get the wrong idea and start acting erratically. This would for sure complicate the case. This obviously is a very stupid system.
Evening. What do we have here? Oh, a certificate. A trial. You need a certificate. Can I see it? Uh, no, no, don't worry. But your desk, it's working. Don't get so excited, Mr. K. Please keep your composure. Mm -hmm. Now, let me see. Uh, yes, just what I thought. As we mentioned before, the first set of documents needs to be prepared. This will take... Uh, so what about me? Should I just wait? As many of the accused choose to do in this situation. As your trial is still in your interest, cases of action could be more harm than good. You'll have to excuse me, but I cannot just sit and wait. Patience is a virtue, Mr. K. 
a virtue much appreciated by the judicial system. I suggest you go back to your everyday tasks at the... Uh, at the bank. That is where you work, no? How can one just continue a normal everyday life knowing that he is accused? That he is under suspicion? You will be surprised to discover how easy it is to get used to such a situation. After a certain moment, you won't even notice the ongoing trial. Great. But at least you can tell me when my hearing is, right? Not really. Isn't it written in your ledger? It is. But as your counsel, I can't really tell you. Mr. Hold, I would like to discuss my defense with you, but I don't even know the charges. <sighs> that is not important. What is important is to submit the first set of documents to the court. The first set? What are they? The defense doesn't have access to court records, especially not to the indictment. That means we, generally, don't know, or at least not precisely, what the first documents need to be about. Anyway, usually the first submitted documents are mislaid or lost, and even if they do keep them right to the end, rumor says they are hardly ever read. This is all very regrettable but not entirely without its justifications. You should not forget, Mr. K, that there is no law that says the trial has to be public. You should not forget, Mr. K, that there is no law that says the earth oh, these staples. Oh, the certificate. Did I staple it already? Anyway, it's official now. I'll put it with your documents. I don't quite remember why it was needed. Documents? What documents? Mr. Hold, I'm withdrawing your representation in my case, with immediate effect. Uh, do I understand you right? I think you do. Well, we can certainly discuss this plan of yours. It's not a plan anymore. We still mustn't rush anything. Nothing is being rushed. Everything has been thought through, probably for too long. The decision is final. Uh, then allow me to say a few words. You are running the risk of catching a cold for no reason. The circumstances are important enough and you've become impatient. I am not impatient. It is just that I came to you, hoping that this case would become less of a burden for me. Well, quite the opposite is happening. If you would represent me, I will end up worrying about the case much more. I will always, without ceasing, be waiting for you to do something. It will grow more and more tense. As for the information about the trial itself, you won't even tell me when it will occur. And I am left guessing that it's getting closer and closer. After a certain point in the proceedings, nothing new of any importance ever happens. So many litigants at the same stage in their trials have stood before me just like you are now and spoken in the same way. Then all these other litigants have been right, just as I am. I wasn't trying to show that you were mistaken. But I expect better judgment from you than from the others. I've given you more insight into the workings of the court and my own activities than I normally do. But despite that, you have too little trust in me. You are not making it easy for me.
Yeah. 